Today we're going to focus on tips for using a green screen effectively using the green screen app on an iPad. Now the first thing I need to do is make sure that my footage is recorded correctly. I don't want to be standing right up against the green screen because reflected light is going to is going to go up onto my shoulders and can often make my shoulders a little bit fuzzy especially if I'm wearing something like white which is going to reflect more of that colored light. I also want to make sure that I as the subject am completely surrounded by green in the frame. I'm not worried if I see the walls or the cabinets and other stuff outside of the, the green screen because that can be cropped off later. But if I'm standing at the edge of the green screen, so part of me is in front of that wall, when I go to crop out the wall, I'm going to crop part of myself out of that footage as well. Another thing to understand is that it's really, really hard to make a very realistic green screen composite shot using the iPad because the camera angle that you're recording your footage has to match the camera angle for your background shot. Um, if there's a mismatch between those two, it's going to look not quite right. And in my experience, it's better to have something that is very far from reality than to have something that is just the slightest bit off. And since you're probably not going to have something that is completely real, I think it's better to embrace the fake and go sort of surreal with it. So I often encourage students to, instead of putting a photograph in the background, put in a drawing so that they have real live actors in a drawn or cartoony world. Or another approach might be to have giants and have other things that are going to, to create uh, a, um, an interesting sort of surreal effect. So I might stand here like I'm looking up at some sort of a giant and I might also record another shot of my giant looking down at the palm of their hand and then when I put the composite shot together I'm going to have a tiny person, tiny version of me standing in the palm of my own hand. Now I'll show how I edited that using the green screen app on my iPad. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is open up the green screen app, which on my iPad is in the top row in the middle. And I'm going to hit the plus sign in the top right corner and create a new project. The first thing I'm going to do is put in my video. I'm going to go to the middle layer on the bottom. On the right hand side, I'm going to hit the plus sign that's in the middle. And I'm going to hit video. I'm going to go to my recently added. And that 30 second clip is the clip that I want to go first, so I'm going to use that. Now, right above my timeline, on the right hand side, I have a couple of tools. I've got the color wheel, which selects what color will be filtered out of that layer. I've got my cropping tool and I've got my masking tool. I'm going to go to my cropping tool and I'm going to crop this shot to get rid of the wall and everything that's in the background. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to go ahead further in my timeline. I'm going to go right to the end of that clip. And I'm going to put in another, my next video clip. So I select video. I'm going to go to recently added. I'm going to go to that 21 second video clip. I'm going to use that. And I'm going to crop that clip again. Just getting rid of the, the cabinets and everything like that. And this time I want to show what it looks like with a photograph under it. So I'm going to go to the plus sign on my bottom layer. The background should always be the bottom layer. And I'm going to select an image. I want to show an example of a bad mismatch um, of a photographic background with the camera angle. So I'm going with this sort of aerial perspective of a city. And you can see how the camera shot doesn't really match with the shot of me. So I'm going to go to the end of this clip. Remember when you add a new picture or video clip, it inserts it right where the playhead right is. There. And I'm going to put in my next video clip on the middle layer. I'm going to go to add video. I want this 11 second clip. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use my cropping tool. And I'm going to go to the bottom layer, right here at that 
at that same spot in the timeline. I'm going to go to the bottom layer, hit the plus sign. I'm going to change this to image. And I'm going to put in my outer space background. I might pinch to zoom in and rotate that. I might also select my middle layer and I might move myself so that I'm somewhere else in the frame and balance out the shot a little bit more. One of the nice things about this is I can pinch and rotate, flip myself upside down, have myself going sideways. So I could be floating in space as I'm saying all of this stuff. I can be way up in the foreground. Um, Actually, let's just leave me floating like that. And now I'm going to go to my next clip. So I'm going to go to video on the middle layer. And I'm going to go to this 12 second clip. I'm going to use that. I'm going to crop it. Say done. I'm going to go to the bottom layer. And in this case, I'm going to put in my drawing for a background. I pinch to zoom out a little bit so I see more of my full drawing. I might select my middle layer, pinch, put myself somewhere else in that drawing. Also, if I'm looking at my footage and it looks a little bit fuzzy, I might go to my color wheel, which is the chroma filter tool. I can adjust the sensitivity, make it more or less sensitive. That basically selects how wide of a range of colors I want to take out. I can take out any color. I can filter out not just the green. I could decide I want to filter out the blue or I could filter out the red. Any color that I want. Um, obviously in this case green is what I want to get rid of. I'm going to go to the end of this clip now and on my middle layer I'm going to put in my next video clip and I'm going to crop this one again just like I did my others. I'm going to make myself tiny here and then right on top of that, I'm going to put in another video clip, which will be my final clip right here. I want to get this clip of me with my hand. I want to trim off a little bit of this clip, so I'm going to tap that white rectangle, that white square at the end of this clip and drag it to make it smaller and I'm going to tap and hold to drag this clip over. I want it to line up with the beginning of the clip where I'm small. I'm going to make this picture of me the giant and now I'm going to hit save to save my video. If you cannot be 100% real, embrace the fake. Overdo it so it looks like a stylistic choice, and that will be eye-catching and impressive, rather than having something that's just slightly off looking fake. A near miss is kind of the worst thing that you can have when you're putting together your special effects.